Hi, this is Chris, and we're here to talk about how to plug a tire. Now, a lot of us, when we're driving down the freeway every once in a while, you will get a nail in your tire or a screw, and that could be pretty annoying. When you have to drop your, your spare tire or something like that, it could be a messy experience. Now, when you plug a tire, it's a great way to get out of an emergency situation, and it also can be a lot faster than actually replacing your tire. So, first of all, what you're going to need is you're going to need some needle nose pliers to do this job. You're also going to need a reamer, plug pliers, some plugs, some rubber cement, a razor blade, and also an air compressor if you have that handy. The air compressor is nice just because if it deflates too much, then you can actually pump your tire back up and stay on the road for another 30,000 miles at least. So first what we're going to do, you'll notice we have our tire here, and with the tire, you're going to locate your obstruction. Now the obstruction sometimes can be so far in that you won't be able to see it um, with it on the vehicle, so you may need to jack up your vehicle and take the tire off, but if it's on the front, then sometimes you can just take it off. Take your needle nose pliers here, you're going to wrap around the base of the nail and then just use the tire itself to kind of pry it out there. Now ideally you're going to have some uh, safety glasses but we all know you're not going to have safety glasses so pull it out and it's leaking. So real quick you're going to grab your reamer, find the hole, put the reamer in the hole. The, the reason we have a reamer is it actually expands the steel cords allowing the plug to fit in. Otherwise, it'd be really difficult to get a plug in there. So once the reamer's in, just go back and forth. Now after I do that, that reamer's really hot, so make sure you don't touch it. In one motion, we're gonna take the reamer out and put the plug in. I've already prepped a plug here with my plug pliers and a little bit of rubber cement, so that way it'll go in more smoothly. So again, in one motion here, take the reamer out. Find your hole, put the plug in, and it should slide right in there. You kind of give it a little twist if it's giving you some trouble. And make sure that when you're sliding this in that you don't let it go all the way in. You'll notice, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's two little tail ends here, and those, those are important to have out so that way it doesn't go all the way into the tire. So, you're gonna pull your plug pliers out, Set those down, and we got our plug in there. Rubber cement, it's pretty solid. Next, you just need to cut off those little tail ends. So, grab a razor blade, get that out, grab it by the tails there, and, and cut it as close to the tread as you can. That way, you won't feel it as you're going down the freeway. Just kind of cut those off. Now, again, this is a temporary fix, so ideally, you're going to patch your tire, not just plug it because this won't last forever, but it will help you get back on the road, so that way you won't have to drop your, uh, your spare tire and do with all those shenanigans. Again, this has been How to Plug a Tire with Chris. Join us next week when we talk about the top 10 reasons why you should buy a sweet car. We'll see you next week. Yeah.